Welcome back to Number Talks. Let's do our number talks a little bit different this time. Instead of me showing you the three digit number, let's see if you can tell me what the number is and some other ways to make this number. All right, so I'm going to write it a little more mixed up. Let's see if you can tell me what you think of when you see this number. What do you think of when you see this number like this? If I put it in the right order, right? Three hundreds would be in hundreds place. Fifty, five tens, eight ones. Makes the number 358. What are some different ways that I can show that number? I can show it in the right order, expanded form. Three hundred. Plus 50 plus 8 makes 358. What about if I did it this way? What if I said there are three hundreds? And 58 ones. Does that make the number 358? Yes, it does. I could also write it in word form. Three hundred. Would I say three hundred five eight? No, I would say three hundred fifty eight. What's another way I can make that number? I can do my base 10 blocks. I can do the simplest way, showing three big hundreds. And I could do five tens. And eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes 358. What if I did it? Oh, what if I did it this way? I could say, I could draw two hundreds. And then if I did 15 tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, eight ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would that make 358? We'll see. You know that tens are worth 10 a piece. So if I do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, this actually makes 100. Put a big square around it, rectangle. So then now I have 100. This makes 100. This makes 100. This makes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's five tens. And this makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight ones. So I still have 358. That's a neat way to do it. So I could write it could say, if I were doing this one right now, I could say two, I did two hundreds, and then I did 15 tens, and I still did eight ones. Sure. Another way I can show this number is I can say there are three hundreds and I didn't want to put any tens this time so how many ones would I say? I'd say 58. Would that still make the number 358? It does because if you write it out and add it up 300 makes 300. 
and then I put 58 ones, I line it up right under, and look what happens when I add it up. 8 plus 0 is 8, 5 plus 0 is 5, bring down my 3, I still have 358. And then you can of course do lots of lots of different addition and subtraction problems and make the same number. I could do, let's see, 368. How do I, what I need to take away or add to it to make 358? What number do I need to change? Do I need to change the three in the hundreds place? No. The eight in the ones place is good. The number in the tens place is what's higher. So how many tens should I take away to make 358? I take away one ten. I take away one ten. End up with 358. We could do the same thing with add. So if I had 348. And I want to make it 358. What can I do? I don't have to change the 3 or the 8, but the 4 in the tens place is too small. So how many tens do I need to add to the number to make 358? 10. 110. So if I add them together, I end up with 358. We showed a lot of different ways to make 358. See how many more different ways that you can show that number. Practice, practice, practice. Have a good day.